Hello random person, Sab Nino here. Welcome to Sab Talk. It's a slow news week, but episode one of the Grunge Bunch Chronicles is almost done and we are finalizing it as we speak. We've gotten feedback from all of the crew, figuring out what to tweak, what to improve. And then once that's settled, we should be able to get to the voice acting. Yay. Okay, let's get to the questions. CJ says, do you like my Winter Horrorland remake? I don't know what Winter Horrorland is, but it's a good recreation, dude. Keep it up. If you're a true Sponge fan, then what was SpongeBob's original name and why was it changed? The original name of SpongeBob was SpongeBoy, while the original name of the show was SpongeBoy Ahoy, and they changed it because of copyright reasons, mainly because it was the name of a mop. Broadly Durham says, What's your fave font? I'm not the type of guy who has a favorite font. If I'm being honest, I just live by the philosophy of if the font fits what I'm making, then use it. If it doesn't, pick something else. Aiden Train Do 21 says, Hey Sab, do you know when the SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Run, will release? As of the time I'm recording this, it came out today. And when the Sab Talk comes out, it should be out for a couple of days now. So happy watching. L.Sean.GLG2006 says, So. What about the Lego version of the Spongebob theme? I just wondered. You know, recreating the Spongebob theme in Lego is an overdone concept in and of itself. There's even an official one that came out a decade ago, but I'm not against it. It might take a little while and I have Lego Digital Designer at my disposal. So I could theoretically make a CG recreation of Lego Spongebob. I can't do it in stop motion because Lego Spongebob sets are really expensive and I'm just a broke college student, but it sounds like a lot of fun. I wouldn't be against it, but again, it might take a little while. Scuff196 says, Bah ha ha, that was amazing. Please bring out Mr. Giggles every opportunity you have. Don't mind me, I'm just feeding my pet monkey, Mr. Giggles. <laughs> Christian, the Thomas and Friends fan, Alt Extra 2 says, did you change the name to Grunge Bunge because the original name sounded too much like Spinge Binge? If I'm being honest, I wish that was the reason, because that's hilarious. But I'll give a reason in the next few questions. Absorbency says, is Sab Nino a member of ISIS? No, we're not members of ISIS. We kill terrorists though. <laughs> All right, here's an actual question I have. Why did you change the Cringe Binge Chronicles title and character? I actually went into extra detail as to what happened with the Grunge Bunch Chronicles Sab Talk 29. The co-creator has been kicked off the show due to a variety of reasons. First one being mental health and the second one due to a hostile working environment. I just had to cut ties due to the sake of myself, my crew, and for my fans. I was on and off about canceling the show, but I think the crew and I have figured out what to do in the situation. We've decided to reboot it after the pilot, mainly doing things like redesigning Cringy and renaming the show so it's not affiliated with the co-creator. The crew agreed that continuing the show should be fine as long as we change Cringy's design after the pilot and change the name to the Grunge Bunch Chronicles. We went through various different drafts on the renaming since we tried capturing the catchiness of the original and we ended up going with Grunge Bunge for plot reasons. I don't want to spoil anything, but there is a reason for why the show is called The Grunge Bunge Chronicles in Universe. So once episode one comes out, you should have a definitive reason as to why. GTVM owns an emoji. Sabpog says, I'm reanimating give the something. Just a quick question. How many frames are there? I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. The only thing I remember is that there was a lot of cutting involved. But keep me updated on when it's reanimated. I'll give it a shout out. Thank you for watching this week's Sab Talk. If you have any other questions, please comment below. Also, to spice things up in future Sab Talks and to get more comments going, I decided to ask you guys a question each episode. And for this week's question, if you could see any of my cartoons as a Lego set, what would it be? No, the SpongeBob theme song reanimations do not count. And with that said, it's all sad from here. <laughs>